Thank you for tuning in to The Reading, produced by Black Spectrum Network. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get the latest updates on this channel. You can purchase a private psychic reading by going to www.blackspectrumnetwork.com. If you want spiritual guidance to learn how to work with your ancestors or you're interested in deepening your spiritual experiences, subscribe to our Patreon. You can get these and other videos at least one week ahead of their YouTube release date. That's patreon.com forward slash Black Spectrum Network. We're going to go ahead and get into the personality analysis for the music artist Her. <clears throat> so I am familiar with the music artist her. I do like her music. I've been listening to it since I want to say I've been listening to her music since 2016. Um the EPs, I like that song. I like her songs You um Say It Again and um Feel Away. Uh so what songs do you like by the music artist her? Uh, tell me in the comments. The first card that I get for her is the destroyer card, which is talking about her being someone that um, she's well adjusted to, to change, um, especially when it comes to uh, create comes to her creativity. I think that that's uh, she's she's someone that strives to be flexible um, and she also wants to master different forms of 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 music um and i i see it as not just um uh, not just in terms of genre but she wants to master different instruments i see that also that she wants to master um uh singing about um different parts of uh, of life not just love so uh with a destroyer card is is speaking about her being someone that you know has very powerful dreams she has a, a um uh, a, a, a lot of um, potential when it comes to her career success. So I do see that happening for her. This is going to be because she is able to mold herself to the the sound of the universe. And I feel that she's going to um, be someone that tries to remain relevant by always producing something new. There's a energy with her that's a bit scorpionic where I, I feel like she may fall from the same tree as drake in terms of how her career success will be um i think that she she will have longevity because of her coming up as a destroyer card so the rescuer card is speaking about her being someone that's um she's someone that's uh supportive of other music artists i think that she's going to help under people that are undiscovered become you know get discovered i think that her um the, the music artist when i saw you know her name is her and then it's the pronoun her uh she um is, is someone that is going to usher in like she's going to bring independent artists i see her pulling people from soundcloud instagram um not getting them to feature with her but i do see on the background she you know makes some moves to position people that are unrecognized or invisible and she puts them um in positions where they can be you know recognized by the public she's someone that gives with uh when when it comes to um when it comes to to her love for music she she does it because she she wants the experience of she wants to nurture her fans she wants to love on her fans she wants them to feel good um so that's why she she sings she's also someone that um that feels that she has to sing for those that are um in need of love and those people who need their stories to be told through music the car for the addict is talking about her being a studio rat. She's someone that works. I see her constantly working in the studio. I see her constantly writing um, and, and just jotting down things in a notebook. Um, I see her in a limo or in the Uber, you know, sitting and texting on her phone and, and it's she's producing new lyrics. I see her singing um, through her voice memos. She's um, addicted to working. And um, she is she's a workaholic because she feels that she has to please her fans. She's someone that looked at television and said, well, you know, I want to see 
my favorite artists get in shape. I want to see my favorite artists perform here. I want to see my favorite artists, you know, work really hard. And if I ever got there and I was someone's favorite artist, I will remember what that's like and I will provide my fans with the, with that same experience. So she has, um, um, she's addicted to people pleasing, but that's good for her considering that she's um, working in the industry that she's working in. i um, going to pull another card. The next card that I get is the card for the hero or the heroine. And this card is talking about she's someone that has a um, she's on a journey uh, for uh, towards personal empowerment. And we're going to see her fans living through her journey towards discovering who well, she knows who she is, but she's evolving. She's I wouldn't exactly say that she's growing, but she's evolving um, who she thinks she is. And we're going to see her on the journey she's also someone that um uh, has a, a a superhero complex where she feels like she's as i said earlier she feels like she's rescuing her fans from um a creative solitude where where some of her fans are are trying to stay away from music not listening to the radio not trying to listen to spotify and she's trying to draw them out of this um she's trying to draw people um out of this this funk where they feel like music isn't speaking to the soul of the universe and she she feels like she's she's one of a few people that's that's doing that the next card that i get for her is the card for the mother so this is talking about her being someone that has a desire to again, as I said earlier, she she wants to nurture. She's very patient um, in terms of uh, dealing with the the music process. She's she's uh, she's she was patient um, in in terms of uh, trying to get her career to this point. Um, I know that I saw a Breakfast Club interview and she was saying that she was um, she had been I think working on her career since she was like eleven or. Uh, like 10 or 11 and maybe she's like 21 or 22 but with her being the mother card um she does have that alicia keys-esque story where she's going to give birth to uh she's going to give birth to a new genre of r&b music um a new sound um uh, but at the same time she's she's trying to blend in with with what sounds right at the time it's, it's like she's trying to she's she's trying to uh be a chameleon but at the same time she's going to turn into a peacock slowly um as as more people recognize her artistry she comes up as a detective because she's someone that uh is well studied uh when it comes to uh vocal acrobatics i'm also seeing her being um uh someone that cares very much about studying the 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 history of the music artist that she's trying to channel sing or or that she's influenced by and uh, with her being the detective she's also someone that uh desires to seek the truth about um other people so uh with that said she's able to channel emotions that she probably hasn't felt before because she's researched so much into other people that she has an, a deep intellectual understanding of them and she's able to create a product that really speaks to their hearts and their minds. Okay, so the final card that I give for her is the card for the visionary. So it speaks about her being able to envision something that's not yet conceivable to others. So um, this idea of being an, um, an anonymous artist or trying to be... Um, it's it's not new um, because it's it's a persona, but nevertheless, she feels as though she's um, for her generation. She feels as though she's um, made herself successful in a way that is indicative of having like you know um, like she, uh, that's indicative that she's you know um, unique and um, that her gift is. Um, her gift is, is 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 more valuable than other artists' gifts. Um, that's how I, I I feel. She feels she she's someone that knows um, that she's talented. Someone that is very confident in what she does, and she has been complimented and told very honestly about who she is, and she's not moving away from that identity. Where this identity this this 
this identity that's very self-confident because she has has watched and studied other artists rise and fall and she feels as though the product that she's created is one where she's like you know i've calculated this person's move this person's move i'm going to bring this i'm going to do this i'm going to do that no one's ever done this and if i produce and if i put it all together this way i'm going to create this very awesome package that no one is going to be able to deny that they want to purchase and that's what she did Okay, so now that we know about the artist, her's personality, we want to get into some other things that we, you know, would like to just know about her. So I want to know about her love style. Like, what is she like as a lover? Um, so what does she like to do in relationships? How is she, um, how does she like to um, operate? Let's see her. She's a worrier. Um, she doesn't really. She doesn't really get into relationships. She's very career focused. Um, she feels like she feels like she's seen other people um, get thrown off track because they fell in love. So she she's trying to prioritize her career over romance. I see that she's she has been she has gotten her heart broken, but it was a minor heartbreak, um, and she feels like. She feels like she encounters a lot of gentlemen um, or maybe even women. I'm not sure. But she encounters a lot. Let's say she encounters a lot of people um, that don't. She encounters people that don't um, stimulate. A, a, a pot, you know, they don't. She she how do I say this? She deals with people that don't trigger positive prophecies about where the relationships where the relationships could go. That's the best way that I can put it. She's someone that she's future oriented, and she when she uh, meets you and if you're interested in her, she asks you, you know, what is it that you do? You know, where do you see your life going? And she and when she interrogates you, she tries to predict what sort of impact you would have on her career. Will you help her? Will you hurt her? Will you help bring her massive success? And does she even need you? Um, she worries that she's going to uh, fall from grace because of a bad relationship. So she doesn't, she doesn't get into them. How do y'all feel about that? How, how do you all deal with relationships? What's, what's your love style? Um, are you a clingy lover? Are you a detached lover? Um, what type of lover are you? Okay, so the next row of cards is saying that there is a gentleman that's chasing after her um, around her age. And perhaps I think that this is a, a guy that she's worked with. But um, yeah, this is a uh, this is a gentleman that she's worked with. Like either, it's either via work with this person via production touring. It's not just uh, album related. It's it's more of it was more of like these people have made money together. Um, he's he's chasing her. He feels he feels like her is his soulmate, and um, she's not paying. She's not really trying to give it that much thought. Um, Right now, I see that she's really career oriented right now. Um, like she's like, I, she wakes up, thinks about her career, brushes her teeth, thinks about her career, goes to sleep, thinks about her career. If she's on a date and she's just like flirting with you, she's thinking about her career. Um, the cards are saying that she's interested in gentlemen who have a lot of money um because she wants to be financially secure so she's interested in a um in in young business moguls guys who have their and you know it can't be she's not gonna just date a guy who um is um pop is popular she's going to date someone who's uh who has strategic investments that is signing contracts and in, in business uh and, and cementing business deals with major corporations. That's what she would, that's the sort of person that she would be interested in. Okay. So now let's talk about um, what, what is she like in the bedroom? What is her like in the bedroom? What's her sex style? 
what is your sex style? How do you like to get down in the bedroom? Do you like to get bitten? Do you like things to be very wet? Um, do you like it, you know, in public or in private? Um, how many people would you like? Do you normally typically like to be in your experiences? What is her love style like? She likes um, dominating men, um, and she's very she's very attracted to to men that are, she's attracted to masculine men, um, and she she likes intensity, like she likes a guy to have some in um, some intense emotions in that moment for her. Not so much that he has to be in love with her, but he has to um, be intensely focused on pleasing her. She's someone that isn't. Um, She's not, I wouldn't say that she's not a giver, but she's definitely someone that's a receiver and she's an evaluator. So she likes to be pleased and um, she works, she's, she's, when she does have sex, she indulges sex. So she likes to receive and um, she's very much into, she's very sensual. I see her like very much into like soft touch and very much into kissing Um I wouldn't say it's exactly love making, but I would say it's like she's very she's very gentle. She likes to, um, you know, take her feet and correct, you know, caress you when you're missionary. I do see missionary, um, but I see her as um, is, is more seductive with it. And she uses sex kind of like, you know, a cherry on top, sort of like, you know, this is your treat for, you know, how you treated me sort of uh, thing. She's she's very. um um and and she also likes to use her voice as well she likes to whisper um and she's into guys who have uh uh very beautiful voices she um she likes to be dominated so i do see like you know um and if she hasn't tried this then you know i would strongly suggest that she uh gets a guy that you know picks her up and you know will throw her across the room not throw her across the room but somebody that picks her up and um likes to m move across the room while she's being picked up but she likes a guy that's um stronger than her she wants a guy to be uh larger you know taller than her um and she's she's also into guys that um that she she likes to have sex for her is very dreamy she likes to um it's not it's not like she doesn't know what she wants it's rather she knows who she is and she knows the experience that she's going to provide she wants it to be um angelic um she wants you to uh it, it's the words i can use are, are you know a pure soft um white um uh, white sheets um red fingernails um pinching um soft bites nibbling on her bottom lip um that's what i see okay all right so um what's her spiritual life like What's her spiritual life like? I mean, those are questions that we really need to ask. Like, what is she like as a, a spiritual person? Um, I feel like God has blessed her tremendously. Um, and I do feel, I feel like she deserved her Grammys. Do you all feel that she deserved her Grammys? She was kind of like, uh, she's, she's, she reminds me of Alicia Keys back when I was like 11. Okay. Uh, what is her spiritual life? She's actually very, she's very, very spiritual. She's, she's very intuitive. She's very incredibly intuitive. She, she's into mysticism a little bit. I get that she's, she has a, you know, she, she would get a tarot reading. You know, she's not, she's definitely not a guest. She's spiritually open. Um, She's not a part of any particular religion, but she's definitely a believer in, you know, a higher power. She's a believer in the law of attraction. Um, I get that she's, you know, I don't see her burning candles, but I do see a, a, a lot of, um, I do see a lot of, uh, spiritual energy around her, meaning that she may pray a lot. She may meditate. Um, but I, I see her doing a lot of self care. So she keeps her, she has to, she has to keep her energy high because, uh, if she doesn't, she will get bored. Um, and when she gets bored, she gets lazy. 
Um, I also see that because she's so focused on evolving and, and, and trying to figure out who she is um, as a spiritual being, she um, she's always thinking about money and her prosperity. Where is it going to come from? How is she going to attract it? Will she be able to maintain it? Um, I see a lot of those things being, um, I, I see a lot of, a lot of those being questions that she, she has on her mind. Um, I also get that, um, she's, she's someone that's, she's going to look for a soulmate. She definitely believes that there are, she has multiple soulmates, um, but she's patient, uh, when it comes to love and, um, she feels like God is going to bring her the right lover but she has a, a um she does have a, a a what she feels to be a strong link between she and the spirit world so um she's not someone she you know she's not someone that's not aware that you know that spirits exist um i do see that she cares a lot for her um, the ancestors that she knows, like her grandmother, um, her grandfather, I see like um, those being people like she's she is family oriented, but I do see her caring a lot for um, her mother, her father, her her grandmother, her grandfather on both sides. I see um, a, a very deep affection for them and her trying to um, make sure that she she's she's building a legacy, um, wanting to m- uh, wanting to meet the expectations that her family has put on her because she she's she's deeply prideful in her family. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. Okay, so now with her, I want to you know ask is is the persona she presents to the general public an authentic representation of who she is in private? Is the persona that she puts out in public a rep, an authentic representation of who she is in private? Let's see. Let's see. Is oh, is it is it real? Is is that a real representation? She's she's um. She okay so. Uh, all right, so the persona that she presents to the general public is probably forty percent of who she is, but it's it's forty percent of her creative identity. So maybe it's a small fraction of who she actually is. Um, she feels like she can't. She feels like not so much that she has to hide behind um, an anonymous identity or the or the connotation that her identity is going to be private. But rather, she doesn't want you to see into the windows of her soul. She doesn't want to see that you're that she's more hungry and more competitive than what she actually is. She wants to appear friendly, but she deep down has a a, a lion's appetite for um, wealth. And I see that she's going to, you know, sign lots and lots of contracts and she's going to appear to be very friendly, someone that's uh, well-traveled and, and always maturing. The next row of cards are then talking about her trying to, she she's, um she feels like she has to be this way in order to get on top and stay on top. I feel like she's inspired by Beyonce and her team is trying to reinvent the I reinvent the the privacy construct that Beyonce works with where uh her is going to reveal who she is, you know, having everything revealed, but she's going to reveal it slowly but strategically and it's all going to be related to who she is as a creative artist. So if there's something that happens to her um if 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 her's private life um, is in the tabloid she's going to sing about it and when she sings about it she's going to try to apply a lot of deep logic and and um, a sophisticated analysis to it because she wants you to um, feel like she's this deep person which she is and that's the 40 percent of the creative identity which she shows is that she's very thoughtful um 
Let me see what else do I get. Let's see. Yeah, she's she's hungry. She's hungry for success, and a lot of people, um, and that's something that she's trying to keep hidden, but people can can see it. I don't get that she's going to cock block people and and um, try to sabotage their success like other um, music artists that you all may be able to think about. N- name name a music artist that you know who blocks people from being successful, whether that's in the background, at the forefront. Like name one person. Name someone that you all know. Okay. So anyway, there's there's definitely like I said, there's a hunger there. She's a hard worker. Um, and she wants that to be known. But at the same time, I see her being very discriminatory about who she chooses to work with. I don't see her, I don't think that she's going to be featured on a lot of people's songs. I think that she's going to be incredibly selective about the song, uh, about the about who she features with. And and especially like um, it not even being about money either. Um, I feel that she is going to I feel that she's someone that the spirits are saying that she has a lot of integrity and that's how she moves. So she's going to, she's going to try to produce a, a a body of work that's dignified. Um, and it's like, if I hear, you know, for example, she wouldn't have worked with R Kelly, you know what I'm saying? Um, like a lot of other artists. Okay. The next row of cards is saying that she's, um, the next world cards is saying that she's someone that she's going to have to constantly establish very clear boundaries between herself and the other males that work with her because the men that are going to be attracted to her are the men that a lot of other women want. Um, and these men are going to be attracted to her because of her charisma her career success and the fact that there's going to be um this uh the word that I'm looking for there's going to be a very uh a very mystical or um it's going to be it's going to be like a very uh a very mystical or um what's the uh, fun I don't know. I don't. I don't exactly have the word. But if someone's in a relationship with her, the relationship is going to make. It's going to add a layer of 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 uh, of in. It's going to it's going to make the other person a lot more interesting, because people are going to be interested in. You know, people are naturally going to be interested in her. Not so much trying to figure out who she is as a uh, in relationships, but if she does get into a lot of men are going to be attracted to her because their star power is going to increase. People will be more interested in, you know, her and her, you know, man or her, um, woman, so to speak. I'm not saying that she, I don't know. I haven't looked into, uh, the type of, uh, gender that she's into. Nevertheless, I see that she's someone that has to be very aware that men are going to prey on her because, she's she's an she's a very solitary artist um people aren't um people aren't going to be suspecting her to be dating and when she does date there's going to be a a a curiosity that people have about you know this person so she could take a z-list artist uh all the way to the top all right so how does how does uh she understand her growing commercial success and popularity. So we want to know how does she understand her growing commercial success and popularity? How does she understand her growing success and commercial popularity? All right. How does she understand her growing success and commercial popularity? She's like, I earned this. She's like, I've earned this. And and she's tired. She's like, I've worked hard. Um, for this to happen, I've been consistent. I wanted this since I was a child, as indicated by the Six of Cups, and um, she feels like nobody's going to get in her way. She feels like the only she feels like the only person that could potentially stop her is a is a man. Um, per, I think is um is a is a man that she's working with uh very closely he has a lot um they're describing him as as someone that is you know 
he he's he's emotional he cares about people he tries to uh uh i'm not sure if this is like a manager but it's a man that she's connected to who could sabotage her but he's not um this has been spoken over her life a lot of people have spoken um have, have told her that she's going to be successful this has been friends these have been family members this has been people at church people that walked up to her people that she's worked with in the music studio people that she's she um she's very confident and it's like she calculated in her head what her success would be like and now that it's manifesting she's like hmm i mean i knew that she's uh someone that has been believing that her thoughts can you know create reality and she's been uh thinking this way for a long time all right so um she, it's not a surprise to her that she's successful. Uh, you know what I mean? Okay, so um, what's what's next for her in her career? Um, what's next for her in her career? You like how I did that? All right, so do y'all think that um, it was good for her to have this sort of persona to, to come as, you know, like, hey, I'm her. You know, who is that? That's her. Was that a brilliant marketing idea? Okay, so what is next for her and her career? Okay, privately, she's uh very much privately she's trying to clean up um things from her past. Um childhood. I don't I don't know exactly what that is, but I see her paying paying out money to get small things scrubbed away. Um but that's that's happening on the background. But in the foreground, hmm, it looks like it looks like she's going to she's going to end a relationship that barely gets started. Um it looks like she's going to feel like this is a soulmate, but He's going to, he, I think this guy's uh, too high maintenance um, for her. And she's going to go back and forth with him and cut him off. And she's going to be by herself for a, for a while. She feels like her music, she feels like her music, There, there's a part of her that not, not so much that she's burnt out. She's completely inspired. But she's waiting to she she misses that sort of inspiration the organic inspiration that she got when she was in her teens like when she was just a teenager and um she she had she's very nostalgic so she's like you know when i was 15 or 16 i used to come up with some amazing you know very creative things and now she feels that she's much too influenced by the world so there's a a desire for her to be in solitude so that she can bring back her organic inspiration so like i said i see a relationship that ends very quickly may not make it public but it, i feel like there's going to be a rumor about it um i feel like she's going to be on a game show she's going to be featured on some, on like a game show or like a um like a uh like something like you know not like the price is right but i i see her on on uh maybe hollywood squares or something like that um which would be really cool for her um and if it's not a game show, it's going to be um, like a, a comp uh, like a competition show. Um, so she may be someone that like is on The Voice or something. Uh, but I see it as like a guest appearance. Okay. she has plans to cut a lot of people off like as soon as it's like as soon as um i feel like as soon as um it's something that she's trying to fulfill i don't know if it's like an album requirement or something but she's like i'm gonna cut you off cut you off i'm getting rid of you she's gonna hire a lot of new people to be around her she's also trying to be a lot more independent with um how her 
how how the business of her like her if her her, her artistry is her business so she's trying to be um a lot more uh strategic uh with how how it operates so i feel like she's gonna she may try to manage herself um I don't know why I get the artist Bruno Mars being um, important um, to her as well. Because I heard Bruno Mars. Um, they're pretty much saying that there is going to be a important collaboration that she she does that I think is going to be like a top 10 hit with uh, with an artist and is going to help uh, expose her to 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 more people, but I do feel like um, it's, she's going to try to acquire um, a much larger following, trying to be known for uh, ballads. I also see her trying to work with a white man, an old white man, as well, um, and them them producing a song together that's very profitable as well. It may be profitable overseas for them. Okay. So with that being said, that ends the reading on her. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I very much enjoyed doing it. So thank you all for tuning into the reading, which is produced by Black Spectrum Network. I want you to click the subscribe button and then hit the bell button to get the latest updates on this channel. You can purchase a private psychic reading by going to www.blackspectrumnetwork.com. If you want spiritual guidance, you want to learn how to work with your ancestors, or you're interested in deepening your spiritual experiences, then subscribe to our Patreon. You can get these and other videos at least one week ahead of their YouTube release date. That's patreon.com forward slash Black Spectrum Network. Before I go, I leave you with these words of wisdom from the rapper Dreezy. I gave mercy to these hoes. What would Jesus do? I'm your reader, Nick Zoe, and thanks for watching. Fuel my fire, take me high, I'll be your liar too. Cause when we're here, there's nothing better than the skyline.